Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dmitro Panchenko, I'm an artist and in today's video I want to talk with you about perfect art idea. So what is the word idea means? In English and other languages, word idea comes from Greek language. It was used by philosopher Plato and it means form or shape. That's why we have also term ideal and we can use it as an ideal shape. For example, we can say this girl has an ideal body or ideal figure. Also, Greek philosophers talked about idea in philosophers' way, because if you think about something or create something, you need to have all shape in your head. For example, like film director sees all movie in his head before even start filming. And that's why the person who just can create or can, can paint perfect flowers without any per, per, purpose or idea can be perfect artist because art is also it's about creating and ideas and it's also part of philosophy. And if you want to make a masterpiece and uh, creating a masterpiece it's also purpose of every artist you need to create idea couple years ago i find in my opinion greatest art idea ever creator of this idea is Italian artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini. He was born in 1598 in Naples, it's Napoli, Italian city, and he was one of the creators of Italian Baroque in row with Caravaggio and other artists. His father Pietro Bernini was a sculptor of the Manierism period. It was period after Renaissance and before Baroque. Gian Lorenzo Bernini made his first sculpture when he was eight years old. And he, at the time, he was recognizable uh, from the patron Pope of Bernini's family as a genius and very talented artist. To understand what art was for Gian Lorenzo Bernini, we know that close people for him, his friends and siblings, uh, told that the sculptures that he made it was the, the sculpture was his girlfriend's because he was practic practically in love with his work. And his work with marble looks like not a rock but some wax, very realistic and plastic and elastic. Most important Bernini's work is St. Peter Square before the St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. And he, it was his architectural work. And the greatest idea is about this square. He started to design the square in 1656 and he built massive Doric order colonnades around the square and it looks like a hack of the arms of the Mother Church. 
in the middle of the square erected Egyptian obelisk. And the, the obelisk was erected 100 years earlier before him. That obelisk was delivered from Rome in Augustus, Emperor Augustus time. And why it's important? Why I talking about it as an idea? First of all, people the time after that obelisk was delivered to Rome thought that uh, in metal sphere uh, on, on, on the top of this column is uh, saved uh, ash from Julius Caesar. But in Christianic world, why they er erected that obelisk and John Lorenzo Bernini left that obelisk state in the, in the certain center of the square of St. Peter. It because during the emperor's near time that obelisk stayed in a circus near the today's Vatican City. And Apostle St. Peter was executed on that circus and latest thing that he saw with his eyes was that obelisk. And now I'm talking about an idea. Now every person who just make a step to the square before main Christian church see with his eyes the same Obelisk, the same thing that saw Saint Peter in his, with his eyes, latest, latest thing in his life. And Saint Peter saw not only that obelisk, and Saint Peter saw also Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Ciao. Le peuple de Dieu est appelé à adorer